I started school recently, so unfortunately I don't have free time as I used to have. But no matter how much free time school takes away, I will always have time to watch the Talk To A podcast. If you haven't heard of the Hawk Tour meme, which I'm sure everyone and their grandma knows, it's basically someone interviewing a girl asking, what's one move in bed that makes a guy go crazy? With the girl replying with, you gotta give them that Hawk Tour and spit on that thing. And that meme blew up. And then she started riding that wave by getting like an entire agency together. Starting a whole agency over a meme is insane work. That's some dedication that I'll never have. But the meme is overshared and it's been milked dry. The first time I watched it, I thought it was a little bit weird. It's not like my kind of humor, so I didn't chuckle at it, but uh, I'm sure a lot of other millennials did. And the only videos that I laugh with Hawk 2 in it is if it's included in a lobotomy reel, then I would find that humorous. English or Spanish? English. Whoever moves it, it's And to stay away from calling that person Hawk to a girl, I'm just gonna call them by their actual name, Haley Welch. And since then, she's been riding that clout wave, even though the wave is pretty much gone. And a couple days after that meme exploded, she ended up dropping Hawk to a merch. And there's a whole website for it. I mean, all right, look at this lineup. Hawk to a merch dot shop. Look at this, dude. What the hell is this? Talk to a 24 spit on that thing. Who is buying this, bro? Like, what is, who is going out of their way and wearing this in public? How is this allowed in public? Yeah, there's an extra small size so you can like give it to your kid for Christmas. Talk to a Matata. <laughs> oh my God. Talk to a Matata. Oh my God. This lineup is terrible, bro. $29 for a Hawk to a bag. Look at this. Oh my God. I can't wait to buy the Hawk to a spit on tap thing, man. All over print tote bag. I can't wait to buy it. The sale ends in 30 minutes. I need to buy it. Like, who is buying workout gear? Hawk to a workout gear. If this video gets 200 likes, I will buy Hawk to a merch. Right, I'm done looking at this. Oh, wait, I didn't have my I didn't have, I didn't have my camera on the entire time. There's also physical stores that are selling Hawk to a Halloween costumes. And now she's making an entire podcast with her first podcast actually airing a couple days ago. I think when this video releases, it'll probably be like, I don't know, like it'll, it'll probably almost be another week. So there'll probably be another episode airing when this video comes out. And this is her trailer with a like to dislike ratio that makes it look like a scam tutorial video. She's literally doing anything to stay relevant. Does anyone actually give a f about her? Why are we keeping this girl relevant? Your 15 minutes are up. Your joke was funny for two days. Stop. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> it smells warm. F you. Yeah. What's one move in bed that makes a girl go crazy? I'm Haley Welp. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. Imagine working a nine to five, knowing that there's this person that said Hawk Tua and is now set for life. And along the way, I've realized that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Well, now it's my time to talk. Check out my podcast every week, Talk Tua, where I'm sitting down with the coolest guests and having actual conversations with them. And Pookie. Who is Pookie? Who is Pookie? Who is Pookie? Oh my God, I didn't know who Pookie is. Who is he? So now that we know what her podcast is about, talking to people and having actual conversations with them, which I thought all podcasts were supposed to do that, let's check out her newest video. With this video also having a pretty bad like to dislike ratio. The beginning of the podcast just introduces herself and uh, who she's gonna be talking to during the podcast with the guest being her friend and a comedian. I had the luxury of sitting down and watching the entire podcast. I skipped my grandmother's funeral to watch this podcast because obviously what's more important, the podcast. Uh, I watched the entire podcast. I'll show you the clips that I thought were interesting, which is barely any, but uh, here they are. So, okay, so you can get, I think it's like 18 shots in both one armpit, 18 and 18, so that you don't sweat. But then he was like, the sweat does have to come out somewhere. And it usually comes out in your... Wow. Well, all your in her poochie all your, banana? All your what the fuck? The in her poochie <laughs> banana! What the hell does that even mean? What does poochie banana even mean, bro? She's trying to recreate the next hawk to her. She's clip farming, bro. To. You 
Jones. I'm in. She's hot to spit on that thing. I'm hot to shit, shit on that thing. Shit on that thing. Please give her a hat that says shit on that thing. Shit on that thing. Okay, maybe not. Shit on that thing. That respect. Just put the fries in the bag. This is the reason why I miss my grandmother's funeral. So you mean to tell me if Pookie has a tattoo on his leg right here that says party and why I should embrace that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Jesus, that's a fucking Come bad here, tattoo. Yeah. Oh. That's <laughs> I audibly gasped when I saw this. I was like a cartoon character the way my jaw dropped to the floor. No amount of context can make this look normal, bro. The amount of brain cells that I had have been divided in half after watching that. Now, to summarize the entire podcast, the entire episode was pretty much about dating men, which is which I find so relatable. This is why I watch the podcast because of this relatability or talking about something grotesque about their private parts. So if you like inappropriate humor, you might like this podcast. Like this is definitely not my kind of humor. So I, I didn't really enjoy it. I kind of I kind of went through hell and back watching this. I wasn't a huge fan of it myself because of the humor and because uh, it was just kind of disgusting. I lost an IQ point after every minute of that video that I watched. So I can't wait for the next talk to a podcast. Before I end the video, I recently got accepted into the YouTube partner program. And the only reason why I was able to get there was because of you all. So thank you for supporting me. It really does mean the world. And I know I said that in my other thank you videos, but really it does. I currently only have one tier if you want to subscribe to. Of course, that's your choice. I'm not gonna hunt you down because you didn't join the membership. If you wanna join the membership though, that'd be amazing. It costs $2 USD currently, but if people start saying that it's too much, then I'll make the price lower. I just thought that that might've been a decent price to go for. But again, if people start saying that, oh, this price is too heavy or it costs too much, then I'll definitely drop the price down. Also, since Halloween is rolling up, I have an idea of who I'm gonna dress up as. My idea is going to be me dressing up in a hawk to a jumpsuit. So if you agree with the idea and think it's rad, please make sure to smash the like button. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Can't move, but okay.